So you guys may recognize this spot. We have actually filmed here before. Um, reason why we're here is we're just showing people if you're, if you're in Pigeon Forge and you've been playing around all day, maybe you're on the roller coaster we here in the background, or you're over on the Ferris wheel, oh. the last hour of the day, you can come right here to this spot. Okay, this is the same parking lot you would park to go to the roller coaster and come down here and have a chance to catch a lot of trout, okay? We only got about 30 minutes before it gets dark, but we're gonna show you that opportunity is here right now. Oh man, they're eating me up. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, throw them up, throw them up, please. Well, bam, teamwork. Well, bam. We had good teamwork Go. all day. So, Tristan has been fishing with a fireworm for 20 minutes without a bite. The second he switched to fire bait, it was instant. Trout tell you what they want. Hey guys, we're out here trout fishing in Patriot Park in uh, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. And I've been using garlic wildfire fire bait. And I'm gonna show you how much I've been using and how I've been using it. That's what it looks like. Just a itty bitty bit. And this is how I've been putting it on my hook and letting it drift. Put it on there. It rolled into a worm like so. And as it goes down through there and it bumps off the bottom, I assume they think it's a dying bait fish and they grab it and it's fish on. Ooh, oh, nice yeah. jumper. There's another one. Dude, what the? What is going on here? Instant. Get it, get it. Boom. Hook them up. Throw them back unless they're real big. <laughs> <laughs> Got them. So if you look across the way, you can see a mural right here, okay? There's a big mural on the back of the hotel. That's your spot that you know you need to come to if you want to catch fish. This hole has not changed, okay? We've been here several years in a row. There's always trout here, all right? They have not stocked this place in about a week and a half. How do we know? They stocked at the beginning of last week. We're in the middle of the following week. So 10 days later, there's still fish to be caught here. It just shows you, you got to come out here, explore, find holes that are fun for you to catch trout in. You need that? Yep. So here's the reason why we came to this spot. Now, earlier you saw us catch a bunch of fish on fire bait uh, up in Patriot Park. We're a mile downstream. Right behind me is what's called the LeConte Center. You can find it on any map that there is, and there's public access everywhere, parking for as many people as possible. But these guys wanted to fish eggs and drift eggs under fire floats. We had to have moving water for that. So we came down here. Tristan's got pink shrimp. Fluff's got yellow jackets. And we're just drifting the holes, OK? And everybody knows that early and late, they bite. And right now, they're biting. Oh, yeah. This thing's strong down here. Nice strike on the boot. Right. Hi guys, I'm gonna show you what I'm running here today in this little bit swifter water. 
yellow jackets. Size 14 fire hook. I'll show you how to put it on there real quick. Slide it on there. Just like that right there. Fluff, fluff, fluff. Oh, oh my God. He tried to jump that way from the net. Uh, uh, Get him in the net. Uh, oh, there we go. Caught this nice Tennessee rainbow here on pink shrimp, salmon eggs. So as you guys see, um, Fluff's using yellow jackets, which is a bigger egg. I switched to pink shrimp eggs a little bit ago here. They're a lot smaller. So I'm gonna put them on the hook here. I've been using two here this evening on a hook, just like that. Yeah, blue. Another one, Fluff. I can't help it. Hey, the evening bite. Bring them in. Ooh, there's three. Now today's episode of Potsky Outdoors did not take a lot of time. And what I mean by that is we only fished about two hours. We get a lot of questions from folks saying, hey, I'm in Pigeon Forge, I don't know where to go, okay? Where can I go and be guaranteed there's gonna be trout there? Well, what we can tell you is, make sure you go online and, and learn when it is stocked. Reason being, after the month of June, it's, it's most, say, too warm for trout to live in Pigeon Forge, okay? Trout fishing isn't as good during the harder summer as it is during the spring months, okay? Again and again in the fall. There can be some really good trout fishing here in the fall as well. Now, with that said, there's two places that are going to guarantee you success, okay? Patriot Park is one of them. Uh, unfortunately, the folks that run the mill, which is right next to Patriot Park, just below it where that little waterfall is, have posted it now. We used to be able to fish there. Now you cannot fish anymore unless things change. There's a big no trespassing sign. That also took that spot off of the stocking list, which means the state of Tennessee no longer stocks trout here. So take that off your list. No reason to do that anymore. And head on up to Patriot Park. We did that for about a half hour here just to show you guys where to go and what to do. And as you can see, both these guys caught their fish right in Pigeon Forge, okay? Pigeon Forge, it's a great place to go. It's simple. This is gonna guarantee you have public access right here at Patriot Park. There's parking, there's public access anywhere in the park, right along that green grass area, all the way to the top of the mill. They put uh, trout here and we caught them all on peach garlic fire bait. So moving on down, we went all the way down to the LeConte Center. Uh, you could find that on any map. It's right near the area where Paula Deans is and Margaritaville and uh, that big old Ferris wheel looking thing and everything else. You know, remember, focus on the Greenway. We focused on the area just in front of the LeConte Center, like we just said. Look that up on a map and fish this area. You'll find a lot of fish. Now, the guys did not use a lot of bait today. They didn't have a lot of time. They only fished here for about 30 minutes. You see, we caught a dozen fish in 30 minutes. You can't go wrong with that. Now, what did we use? Well, Fluff focused on yellow jackets, where Tristan focused on pink shrimp. All these were fished with fire floats. You want that soft, subtle float that isn't gonna make a huge splash. And then they use size 12 and 14 fire hooks, okay? After they were done catching all those, once I put the drone up in the air and showed them, hey, just have a little fun. I don't care what you used. They used some of their favorite things, which for fluff, as all you guys know, is a peach fire worm. And then we also used the peach fire egg, okay? You guys come here, use whatever you want, but add these two places on your list when you come vacation in Pigeon Forge because there are going to be rainbow trout for you to catch. Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.